Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to Black Mesa. Now, we, we are, I have literally haven't even taken 10 seconds break. I paused, ended the last episode, and I've just hit start recording again. So, no break. I just want to keep going. Uh, it feels very climactic at the moment, which is why I don't want to break. I'm still fresh in the moment as I record this. So, uh, so let's keep going. Literally not 20 seconds since I ended the last part. Now, yeah, I think I said um, at the end of the last episode how uh, if there's only like five minutes left, I'll just tack it on to the uh, previous episode. But there might there might be another hour in the game left, you know. But let's focus on the game. We've got lots of bombs. I've noticed that. What a what a fucking episode last time though, or, or this time if it's a short one, you know. And this is the last episode. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're, they're, they've got all the human shit here. Laptops, computers, scientists. So this is where they are sort of testing us. When they mentioned they, you know, we, we collected them and now they are collecting us. This is what they're talking about. We've got scientists. Um, that's a rocket launcher rocket, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Test tubes! A thing of test tubes! So that they're just testing humans. I've got to get in here. That scientist there is like in a broken one, it looks like. Or, or maybe that's just the graphics, I don't know. Can I bomb my way in? Quick save. It was just the graphics. That's, that's the first graphical, like, proper glitch I think I've had in the game, so I can forgive it. Just a bo just a little box full of papers. They're, they're testing those. <laughs> that's great. Pizza! Oh my god, they're testing pizza. What else are they testing? Calculator. Or is that a phone? That looks like a phone. That looks like a sort of a intercom-looking phone system to me. Test tubes. <laughs> it's a dog! It's a picture of a dog. Is that an actual photo of a dog? Or is that just a... I can't tell if that's a fact, a real dog, or if that's actually just a graphics dog. I wonder if that is a, one of the developer's dogs. If it is. For Katie. Matt. That has to be a developer thing. Is Katie the partner of... Matt, the developer. I've got to know. Somebody let me know in the comments. That has to be. That's great. It's going to be great being like a small a small indie team, like indie developer. Because you can do shit like that. You can put your personal fucking uh, dogs into games. That is fantastic. Anyway. Um, since we're in here, is there anything we can actually do? Oh! Oh, okay. I, I still don't know what these actually are. I think it is the rockets, but they're inside cases. Is there another one? And it's, it's the, like the end of the game. Right, okay, I can see where to go. Let's use a rocket. And let's see if this recharges the rockets. Once and for all, let's get an answer to my goddamn question. Yes, it is. They're rockets. It, it took me the whole game to learn it. Let's go. Oh. 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 Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is cool. Is this like a map of the cosmos? Is this where the Nylanth is uh, is scheming his plans or just, you know? I mean, I know in the story of Half-Life um, that the Nylanth, we, we learn this later in like Half-Life 2 and shit, but the Nylanth escaped from the Combine to this Zen border world, and then, then, then he's setting up his operation here. Uh, but, the, but at the same time, he's then collecting samples from Earth and shit. And to me, this looks like some sort of space-type deal. 
At least we've got the friendly blobs. Oh shit. So, okay, supercharge fucking... This is a, a pool of healing if I ever saw one. Let's lap that up. Got a lot of explosive barrels. Does that mean we gotta explode some shit? This is beautiful, by the way. That's definitely like a... Like a galaxy, you know? Maybe he's mapping out uh, the, the nearest galaxy? Or something? Maybe Earth's galaxy. I can see a couple of red things in there. I think that's just supposed to be a star, though. It, right, rising up that big elevator thing, I really, I had a feel, I, you can't, you can never tell, but I had a feeling it was literally going to raise us into the Nihilanth chamber and the game would end after that. Um, but I wanted to still stop the recording and start a new episode, just in case there's quite, there's plenty of game left. And I think there is. I think I made the right call. This looks fucking great. They need to make... Please tell me. Sweet Jesus. The Black... The Crowbar Collective. If you're hearing this, you need to do a remake or a reimagining of Half-Life 2. I know it's much, much more recent than Half-Life 1, so it wouldn't be that, that big an upgrade in terms of graphics. But still... I reckon you could do a great job, and you could bundle ep Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2 into the Half-Life 2 reimaginings as one complete package. You could just call it Black Mesa 2. They might already be doing that, because I, I don't keep up to date with what developers do, because I'm shit. But they... they uh, fuck me, I would buy it. I would buy it, I would play it. I think all of us would. This is one hell of a game. It's like the story of Half-Life 1, but just completely built from the ground up. Let's go a climbing, I guess. We're, we're still climbing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. Oh, okay. 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 This, this, th okay, this is, this is a big portal right here. Let's take a running jump. <gasps> oh. Last, I am the last. I, I can hear scientist voices, I think. Dude! Sh shutting down. It is, it's human scientists I can hear. I think I can hear voices from the Resonance Cascade. Shut it down. It won't shut down. Which is interesting. I can. Shutting down. Shut it down. Yeah. Oh, dude. Okay, this is one of the most beautiful moments in gaming history. <laughs> Flappy nuke boys. I'm gonna take my fucking time. It's like this place has memories in it. And it, anyone else get the same vibe? Oh right, we are we are definitely at the top of the whole thing now. 
This, okay, this place is bigger than I thought it was. When we first entered Zen, we had like a, a, a immediate vision of this place. But I didn't think it was a fucking huge place like this. I thought it was just a small pedestal. <gasps> Dude. If ever there was a place you can forgive me for taking screenshots, it's this place. Let's go, let's frame it perfectly. And let's go. Thank God you're here. It's very quiet, like. We're getting new voice lines on each platform. Attempting shutdown. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's the same. Dude. Is there a way to holster your weapon? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. That's the smallest weapon on the screen. This is just immense. I haven't felt like this playing a game for a long, long time. I don't know what that says about modern gaming, but this is an epic moment right here. Hello, Mr. Eyeball. Oh, God. Oh, my eyeballs. My eyeballs. Oh, we're falling. Oh. <laughs> this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it right here. Oh, my goodness. Well, this guy can't, it can't aim for shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this guy is my bitch. I'm just taken in the moment. Forgive me. This is awesome. Look at this ugly motherfucker. He's got like a machine belly. He's got, like, stitches on his head. Does that mean this guy... Ooh. Supplies. Thank you, humans, back at Black Mesa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So... The stitches on his head make me think this guy isn't a typical example of his race, like he's been modified. Because what, what natural creature has stitches and staples on his head? I'll theorize at the end of the game. Let's kill this motherfucker. Oh shit. I'm, I've got to, I'm guessing I've got to destroy the force field around him. Let me just... Uh, oh right, I can heal when I uh, please. Fucking hell. Can he get me back here? I'm guessing he can. Yes, he can. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> he chuckles mockingly. He's laughing at me. I'll fucking teach you, motherfucker. Oh, shit. I've got to be careful because this doesn't recharge. At least we can heal whenever we damn well please. Hmm, let's get the rocket launcher out.
What an ugly bastard. Look at his mouth. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's... Uh, okay. <laughs> He's going to get the best of me if I'm not careful here. Let's just send a rocket into one of these things. I can't tell if that did damage or not. It looked like it did damage. Let's do another one. Add another one. Oh, it did! Oh, ho, 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 right. It's, it's armor plating. Die. You all die, you all die. How about you are gonna die, motherfucker? Let's do this. There! Oh, I nearly had it. There! Oh, perfect. You're the one that's about to die. Seriously. Can we get close to him or do we just, like, t do we just die? That's right, he's speechless. Let's get cl Oh, shit. Oh, radiation. Oh. Okay. I tell you what, before we do this, before we enter phase two, let's heal. I want to be full health when I destroy this motherfucker to prove that I am greater than the Nihilanth. Oh! Fucking in the face! That'd be more than a major fracture. So th this guy's laughing. This guy is full-blown evil. Now he said... I caught it when he said, I am the last. We already know that he is the last of his species. I think we know. So the, co the combine officially... Whoa, what's this? Oh, shit, man. Let's start the process whilst I heal. Whilst we heal. He's changing his attacks here. Got it. You're vulnerable now, motherfucker. But so am I. Oh, he's got a shield. Deceive me. How's it going to deceive me? Am I, am I safe behind this? Oh, look at these attacks. I don't know why, but those look important. What is it? He said he will deceive me, and I don't like that. He probably will. What? Are these like... Are these like office uh, office rooms from Earth? What the fuck? <laughs> oh! Ooh! I can destroy- oh shit, I can destroy his armor panels. Oh, I was hurting him then. can straight up damage each of these. Let's get some more ammo and shit. Thanks for the supplies. <laughs> Just, I'm shooting any crystals or any lights. Can I destroy his systems? Ow. I think I'm doing some good damage. Oh. Oh, hang on. Sorry, hang on. Destroy the crystals of destiny. Oh, he laughed at me as he healed. 
Look at this ugly bastard. Oh fuck, oh my god, man. What's that? Is he bringing cars through from the earth to kill me? Fucking hell, man. Oh my god. I don't know if this is actually hurting him. I think it is. Or do I have to hit his brain? He's still laughing at me. Bastard. Let's get some more human weapons. Let's kill him with human weapons. Like this rocket launcher. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Let's hit his brain. That looks like a very protected skull to me. Let's keep going. Hang on. Let's let's destroy more shields. It, bitch. Should we destroy all of his shields? There's, a, there's only a couple more shields left. Oh shit. There you go, motherfucker. He doesn't like his shields being destroyed. Oh shit. Shit, man. Ooh. Ooh. Let's keep having him. Fucking hell! I don't know what killed me. Fucking hell! Oh, Jesus. This is kicking off in a major way. I've lost all my weapons, by the way. I, I, I think it's because I'm out of ammo. Human weapons! Whoa! I need ammo, dude. Fucking hell, I'm sorry. I need the rockets, though. Fuck! Jesus. It takes me by surprise every time. Have them all. And another. I've got to dodge all of these things. Oh, what's this? You can't shield from me, motherfucker! Ow! I'm trying my best to dodge these, Jesus Christ. Will you die already? His brain is exposed, I've just realized. There. And again. This, Jesus, I'm dodging so much shit here. Oh, 
Alright, brain. Nothing but brain. Oh my god, I'm being sucked in, dude! No weapons! <laughs> Shit, man! Okay, we just got sucked into his head. <laughs> what a weird sentence. Oh my god. We we blasted his brain up an agonizing scream. Jesus Christ! Dude! His his whole body is like a nuke. What the fuck? Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Oh, G-Man! Or rather, in the hazard suit. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were I saw. government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. Dude. The border world, Zen, is in our control. Okay. For the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. Thank you, G-Man. Thank you. I still don't know That's anything about the G-Man. I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. E e employers? And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They a job. With me that you have limitless potential. Is the job Half-Life 2? Yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal. Oh, I'm interested. I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Do we do that? <laughs> after what you've just survived. Oh my god, can I quick save and try both? Time to choose. Oh my god, this, okay. Can I quick save it? I'm tem- I am so tem- I've, I've only got the one option. I assume that's to accept the offer. It's time to choose. It is time to choose. Um, do I step off the back of the train to deny? Well, I'm very- like we won't be working together. No regrets. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! That was a short time to decide. Achievement unlocked rather an anticlimax. Um, I figured there would be two portals, perhaps, or something. Where the hell is this train going? Dude! Okay, I'm along for the ride. Jesus! I didn't- I didn't know if that was actually gonna be a choice. <laughs> Subject Freeman. Status. Observation terminated. Post-mortem. Oh, I missed it. Wow. Oh, so is there actually two endings to this game then? <laughs> After the credits, I will do the proper one. I've got to see both. I just want to see them both. Dude. That was a very fast, like, I, I, I literally didn't have a minute to decide. I didn't know if that was an actual choice or if it was just saying that sort of a thing. And like maybe nothing would have happened. Look at Crowbar Collective. Only three guys on animation. Like 12 people on art. You gotta love an indie studio. Dude. Now this is a small list of people right here. Just goes to show you don't need a massive, massive organization to make an epic game. 
Let me turn this down in my ears. Dude. What a fucking awesome game. I'm guessing if you actually step into the portal, it's, um... Uh, it, it's basically just a very quick ending just like this one, and, and it's the same. Dude, what a fucking journey. I mean, seriously, there is not a lot of names in this list of people working uh, uh, on this game at Crowbar Collective. That was a very short list of people. And they made a lot... I mean, yes, they had Half-Life 1, and the game is a reimagining of Half-Life 1. Um, so they've got the story already there and then shit. But even so, they still basically made a lot of game from scratch. Whew. Past developers. Is that pe people who previously worked at Crowbar Collective? Or is this referencing um, other people who actually worked on like Half-Life 2 and stuff? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Dude. That was a journey. I seriously haven't played a, a game like this or been on this sort of journey in years. The past few years uh, have not been great, at least in my experience. I'm sure there are good games out there that I'm just, uh, uh, you know, too stupid to know about. But because I haven't played a lot of games, you know, I'm, I'm sure there are good games out there, to, you know, today, brand new to play. But not like this for me. This this is like this is a step into the past, but in with modern graphics and, and things. I loved every second of it. Special thanks. Valve Software, all the playtesters. Oh, I wish I could be a playtester. Oh, I fucking wish. What a job, even if it's not a job. The pe <laughs> special thanks to the pizzas. Is this some fucking shit that I'm not getting? The the pizzas. The, the references in this game. Do the development team love pizzas? All our family and friends, all of our loyal fans. In loving memory, Erin, Carolyn Gray, Jesse Wingert, or Wingert, Sam Burt, and Victoria. Uh, Tunison. I'm a shit at pronouncing names. Rest in peace. What a send off, though. Jesus. Let me turn the volume back up. I've got to turn my, the sound down in my ears for credits, otherwise I can't, I can't even hear myself think, let alone try and express myself. So that is it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna re right now. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna quick load where I saved it and choose to uh, go out the other portal and choose to actually enter as employee. I th genuinely. If I had a choice for more than 10 seconds, I would have actually gone in the portal just to, just for, um, you know, that, that is the canon. Uh, so I would have stepped in the portal, but it was over so fast. And, and G-Man was like, no, go fuck yourself. And that was definitely a fight I wasn't going to win. So that, that's where all those grunts in the boxes went to one big pool of grunts that would have killed my ass. <laughs> right. Let's, let's quick load now. End game. Ooh. If I hit resume, what does that mean? Oh, is that my quick save? Let's, I've, I've got to see. I've got to see. Let's take it. Thanks for the offer of, um, uh, of work. I shall graciously accept, sir. Choose. Yes, sir. Here we go. I choose employment. It's the canon ending. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. So that, that offer of um, employment, you know, the employment opportunity. Uh, Freeman hired awaiting assignment. I'm guessing he's referencing Half-Life 2, the events of that when he gets woken up and so on. Even though that's like 20 years in the future, I'm pretty sure Half-Life 2 is set 20 years after Half-Life 1. And then he is a uh, Gordon Freeman is awoken again. We've already seen that. I'm guessing he's awoken again. Um, and Gordon Freeman, I believe, hasn't aged. Uh, in Half-Life 2, Eli Vance says, my God, you haven't aged a day. So it's like Gordon Freeman is in some sort of stasis, some magic uh, next level G-Man uh, species uh, stasis where he doesn't age. Do we know who the G-Man is? I don't think we do. 
I think they've I think that's very vague and open ended. So I don't think anyone actually does know who the G Man is or who his employers are. Um I just remember his words at the end of um Oh no, my my brain is all over the place jumping from game to game. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if, if there's any more info that um, that we officially know about that I don't know or that I've missed in this game. Do you know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, I can only assume he's talking about the events of Half-Life 2. That's, the, that, that's our next job. Even though it's 20 years in the future, I think time works differently to G-Man and his peeps. Well, I hope you enjoy this journey with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it start to finish. And I try to be as thorough as possible. I keep saying that because it's true. Um, I don't like whizzing through games. I prefer to experience literally every single particle of the game that the developers want you to experience. You know what I mean? So I'm, I probably take three times longer to complete the game, but I think it's worth it. This is much more of an experience than if you just rushed through and, and whatever. Everything about this game is awesome. Um, the, seriously, the, the 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 visuals. I'm talking large scale. The the scenery, the environment that you are in, but then also the small scale graphics of like plants and stuff. The flora, the fauna is all top notch, especially in Zen. Like Jesus Christ, what they did with Zen is nothing short of a masterpiece. Seriously, that's how I feel. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. And the sound, that's just graphics and environment is top notch. The sound design of this was fucking top notch. Um, from just the actual ambience, low level sound, all this, the, the sound of creatures and things was all, you know, creepy things were, sounded really creepy. The lovable little clouds sounded lovable. Hello! all that shit it was it really it drew me in it was very immersive and then you had the fucking music which always kicked in at the right moment i felt like it would leave you it would leave you in sort of silence and just ambience in like chill moments but then when when epic shit starts to ramp up the music is what kicks you into that zone and then suddenly you're fighting fucking forty thousand floaty boys so the music really took like takes you where the devs want you to go and the music itself is awesome like seriously i i i'm, I'm ashamed i don't know the name of the artist because i know it's one artist but um somebody leave it in the, in the comments and i'll pin the name of that artist because uh, whoever did the music is awesome Con big congrats to everyone at crowbar collective i thoroughly enjoyed this experience for what it is so thanks for making it and I really hope that there's a mod um, called Black Mesa... Uh, fucking... I can't, I can't remember the name. There's a mod that people have been asking me to play. So this might not be it. I'll probably do that mod next um, and just add it to this Black Mesa playlist. Um, and I'm looking forward... People said Black Mesa is already halfway through making a Blue Shift uh, reimagining remake. Uh, now, I never played Blue Shift. So let me know in the comments if I should... I don't know, play the original. Uh, and hell, let me know if you think I should play the original Half-Life 1. Um, it, I, I've done this in a strange way. I, I, I'm guilty of this in Resident Evil. I play things in all sorts of weird orders. Like maybe I should have played Half-Life 1 on the channel before doing this. But there was something unique uh, that I, I liked. The, I like the idea of doing Black Mesa completely blind. Because um, I'm sure like 95% of people who play Black Mesa um, have played and know Half-Life 1, and I haven't. So it was it was a unique position to be in, and I wanted to, um, to use that. You see what I mean? Um, now, I'm tempted to do the same with Blue Shift. I think that's what it's called. Blue Shift, and I know that it's half made, but not fully, like, not finished, I think. Um, but I'm, I'm tempted to do that before the original. Um, I don't know. I, f I find something special in playing these blind, even though they aren't the original uh, experiences. So let me know in the comments if you think you should do the originals at all, and if you prefer I do them before or after these reimagining sort of remakes. Um, yeah, nothing else needs to be said. Awesome experience and journey. 
like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar games and content on this Let's Play channel. I've got a Twitch where I sometimes live stream, uh, join my Discord, that's but the, if you want to comment or talk to me one-on-one -on -one or whatever, my Discord is the place to do it. Um, if you want to go above and beyond to support me, other than watching, um, you can so you can subscribe on my Patreon. That would help out a bunch to keep the channel going, etc., etc. Anything else? I've got a Twitter and a Facebook where I post notifications when I upload a video. That's about it. Catch you in the next playthrough, whatever that is. Almost certainly um, the mod of Black Mesa that I don't know the name of. <laughs> Hello there! This is Liquid Blitz from the future. I had to jump in and interrupt myself because I didn't realize when I was recording that I got the achievement PhD in pacifism. Don't kill any Vortigons in the border world at all. Yes, I am the savior of the Vortigons. <laughs> Liquid Blitz, out.